Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Ashley Amethyst, and today is going to be part two of what's in my hospital bag, but this time it's what's in my husband's hospital bag, as well as other important things that we need for baby. I am currently 36 weeks and four days pregnant and it's coming down to the wire and we had a scare yesterday and we didn't have everything ready to go so things are getting ready to go today. Also we have baby girl Zobo in the house. She is sitting on her new bed. Do not eat your new bed please. And on the more unglamorous side of things, I am currently sitting on a puppy pee pad because just in case my water breaks, we don't want to, or in case I pee my pants, let's be real. Uh, we don't want to mess up this glider that we got. It's not the most comfortable, but we got it off Wayfair. And this is the most not perfect intro ever, but anyways. So let's get into it. Um, first, we're gonna start off with, um, my husband's bag and then we're gonna work on to the other important things that we need that day so let's get started first up are toiletries my husband's like I don't have any travel size and I was like mm, no that's not true I got this I think from Ulta this is plant apothecary they're all natural uh, no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, no animal testing, no animal derived ingredients, no synthetic fragrances or preservatives. 100% plant powered and I'm giving him this one. It's rosemary and lemongrass. It's called Wakey Wakey because as I learned last night, it's really hard to wake him up. <laughs> and then with that at Target, I picked up one of his, his shampoo and conditioner that he uses. Um, this is the Dove Men Plus Men Care? Dove Men Care Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. No, no ma'am. We're not communicating right now. We're filming. Okay. Lay down. And this is going in his toiletry bag. I can't remember where we got this. It's really cheap. He wanted to use the cheap one and not the expensive one, but whatever. And so these are going in here along with his travel toothbrush I picked up. Um, his ear trimmer is the Brio. Um, yeah, Brio. And really cool, the beer trimmer comes with all of the, like, Oh my gosh, I forgot what they're called. Guards. And then it also comes with the case. And it's perfect for travel. So that's in here. As well as um, his face cream. And he uses the Eczema Honey Nut Free Miracle Healing Cream. My husband has horrific psoriasis on his face. And this stuff has been... A dream because it's steroid free and then for his hair he has this grooming molding paste from Floyd's 99 comb obviously you know I pack this um, and a regular size deodorant and all of this will go in his bag when either it's time for the scheduled C-section or when I have another time where I wake up in the middle of the night thinking I'm in labor. <laughs> so yeah, we are having this baby in June in Orlando, Florida. And I mean, it's today is May 25th and it's like 91 degrees outside. And I'm still not allowed to go in the pool, so I'm really like feeling the heat, but um, I told my husband to pack accordingly, and he was like, well, I need new sweatpants. I'm like, why do you need sweatpants? And he's like, because it's cold in the hospital. So, if your hospital 
If you think you're going to be cold in the hospital, then then pack the way we did. If not, go ahead, pack your own way. We have two big, big kid towels. Um, these are two of our beach towels. His is orange, mine's blue. We're not, well, I'm a Gators fan, but he's not a Gators fan. So we got two big towels in here. And then his toiletry bag. And the cool thing is, I, I can't show you, I'm gonna insert a picture of the bag that we got. We picked up a Kipling large duffel on rollers and it has pockets up the yin yang. It's really cool. Um, this will become baby's bag when we travel because I could pack literally all the diapers, wipes, everything I need on the side pockets. There's a gigantic inside insert here and there's pockets on the outside. So on to his clothes. He picked up for um, Target a zippy hoodie, just a plain black one. I think it's from the Champion brand. Yep, Champion brand hoodie. And then um, he has a pullover, which is a simple gray knit pullover. Um, probably to take pictures so that we can have some nice in-house hospital photos when baby boy decides to make his arrival. Um, he's got packed some cargo shorts. I cannot knock my husband on his cargo shorts. It's the one thing I give him because I pretty much control his whole wardrobe. So I give him cargo shorts. Um, he has one pair of easy shorts, basketball shorts. Um, and then he's got two pairs of sweatpants. He's got these brand new gray ones. Look, they have cargo pants or pockets. Um, and then he's also got these gray ones. Um, I think one of these are from Kohl's, but everything else is from Target. And that's, what shirts do we have? Oh, he packed really well. I'm not this good. And then we've got t-shirts. He's got a Mr. Incredible t-shirt. And a dark gray Captain America shirt. And um, this one, it says, my favorite people call me dad. And then in here is all of his underpants and socks. It's an Eagle Creek bag. And yeah, that's all he packed. So let's hope I put this in properly. Be there. If everything goes to routine, we should only be there three to four days, but it could be upwards to five days. Um, last time I got a really nasty UTI, so let's pray that doesn't happen this time. Okay, so husband's bag packed. Oops, forgot the towels. But anyways, let's go on to the next important bag. And that bag is the snack slash electronic bag. And I know that sounds crazy. Hold on, water, in, water inter, intercession? Interlude, there you go. Our next bag is packed very full and um, it is a Vera Bradley, I think it's a Weekender bag. It's very large. I used to use it as a diaper bag back in the day. But um, it has some outside pockets and I'm going to tell you what's in each one. I've got um, a what is this called? My brain just farted. An extension cord that's 10 feet long and has three um, ports for charging. And then another, a 10 foot long cord 
I left the other little cube thing over there. We've got our camera charger and um, phone cord, which I'm gonna plug back into the wall. And then um, laptop cord. And also I just threw in this. Um, I am getting my own or I'm going to probably buy just buy this from my friend. I accidentally brought it home a couple weeks ago without purchasing it. It is frankincense and it's really good for pregnancy and carpal tunnel and I have that really bad right now. So that's these two outdoor pockets. And then there's nothing in this one over here. Probably will be. Okay, this is the all important snack bag slash um, document holder and everything. And I'm going to just show you what snacks I packed. And I know that it's going to seem insane. Um, we're also going to have um, cash in here as well with us. I'm going to put all of my cards and his important cards into one wallet, probably the one I carry now, or the travel wallet, I haven't figured that out yet. But um, this is the snacks so that we don't have to find the, um, what's it called? Vending machine, okay. These are the snacks so that if um, in the middle of the night we don't want something candy, we can have something that's a little more healthy for us. So these are my husband's. Um, we've got the Larissa's Kitchen Beef Jerky. And then we've got two of the Sweet Chipotle Crave Beef Jerky. We've got, not my favorite, but it, it's, I'm not eating it, so it, it's okay. The Country Archer Turkey Jerky in Hickory Smoke. There's another jerky in here. Let me find it. And then um, Jack Link's Tender Bites Teriyaki Beef Steak Jerky. And we've got um, 10 bags of Cheez-Its in the individual size. Um, a 12 pack of applesauce. Um, this will probably go quickly because I'm going to be on liquid diet for first 24 hours, I think. Um, so we have applesauce. We've got 10 pouches of Mott's um, fruit snacks. We've got fruit strips. I love these things. They're from Target. I call them fruit leathers sometimes. Some people are like, what? And I'm like, uh, fruit strip, fruit strip. So got this one in strawberry. We've got pretzel crisps because I love pretzel crisps and they, they help settle my stomach down post um, medicine and all that. And then we've got um, simply balanced strawberry slices that are freeze dried. And um, these are my absolute favorite. Um, these are the Bear Baked Crunchy Cinnamon Banana Chips. Like my favorite thing in the entire world. And then along the lines of that, we've got the Cinnamon Apple Bear um, Apple Chips. And the reason why you're not seeing like candies and stuff like that is because I'm going to be trying to breastfeed and I really want to be the best breast I can be. <laughs> that was really stupid, but whatever. Um, and then... That's, I think, all the, oh, snacks. So with that, um, I picked up a water bottle from, it's a faux swell, it's not a real swell. This is a stainless steel water bottle from Target, and it's in my favorite colors, and I thought it was cute. We'll have this one, and then for my husband, um, we really enjoy the Takea, or Takia? Takia stainless steel bottles. This one's 32 ounce. I also have one. Probably gonna bring that one as well. Just fill up with, for him, probably soda. For me, water. Um, and this will be in this bag as well. If the bottle doesn't fit, or, or I could put it in the big red bag. 
So now on to the other electronic parts of this bag. So I'm gonna have the camera, my uh, Canon 80D with us. And then for, um, to get the baby book and then maybe if family wants to take a picture and they wanna like save it, we have our Polaroid camera and we're taking this. And um, for documents, we are going to use this document folder. It has, I liked this one. One, it wasn't plastic, so it's a good sturdy for reusable stuff. So I got this one because it has two rows. So my information goes in the front pocket and in the back pocket we could use that one for the information for KJ. And I just re really like this and it's really sturdy so it won't break. Eh. So the thing I forgot to mention in the first video that we are bringing is um, instead of my pregnancy pillow, because my pregnancy pillow is gigantic, um, we are bringing both of our pillows, but I did pick up a deluxe My Breast Friend um, breastfeeding pillow. I heard this one's really good for C-section tummies, and it come, has a little pocket on the side of it so that you keep your like nipple cream and stuff like that. And this will be ready to go on the big day. And then here is my revision from before. Before I had KJ's stuff in one little bag, my stuff in one little bag. And when we had the scare yesterday, my husband had five bags in his hands. And I was like, that's not going to work out because he's also supposed to have the infancy. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pack all of our stuff in the red bag and that red bag will have everything we need so that we have one bag plus the electronic bag and the pillow which I don't really need the pillow until after I have the baby but those are some stuff that need to be in the car ready to go and so that's my only revision that we are taking just the bare minimum of bags. And that's also why I picked out this Kipling bag because it's huge, it's lightweight, but it's gonna be able to pack everything that we need. Um, and I think it will also be able to fit our pillows in as well. So, so yeah, um, that was the end of the video. If you like this kind of content, please hit the thumbs up sign and give me a like. And if you're not already, subs sorry, I'm oh, grabbing my boobs. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.